I have my window of Perfect Embroidery Pro opened on my desktop. In the tray of my desktop, I also have Internet Explorer opened to the webinar on YouTube. So the first thing I want to do is to be able to adjust the size of this screen. So if I left mouse click up in the color bar or the darkened bar at the top, I can then use my mouse and left click and slide and drag the frame of the window to make the window smaller. And I'm going to go not exactly half screen but a little bit more. So I'll move that over to the right. And I'll select the Internet Explorer and bring up YouTube. Now YouTube is in front of Perfect Embroidery Pro so that's not quite helping me. I'll do the same thing to this window as I did on Perfect Embroidery Pro. Now the key is you don't want to make it so small this window that you can't see what the webinar is presenting. But on the other hand if you make it too large you won't be able to see your controls over here. And you know, when you click in that window this whatever window you click in becomes live. So if I were to hit the pause or play button in YouTube it would play and if I go over to Perfect Embroidery Pro and left click here this comes to the foreground and becomes live also. So let's go ahead and start to play Catherine Artinez's webinar. So at that moment I can hit the mute button if I don't want to hear what she's saying but basically I want to hit the stop the pause button so that I can then go into Perfect Embroidery Pro and follow along and do exactly what she did. Because your window is shrunk you may not have all of the icons visible but if you click left mouse click right here on this small arrow you'll have access to the remainder of the icons and I want to select the motif so that I can follow along and I believe if I play the window over in YouTube she's going to select the apple and I'll do the same and I'll click OK and I can do exactly what she's doing she left mouse clicks now I have her sound muted because it's quite confusing for you to take a webinar of a webinar but if you were following this at home doing it on your own you would have the sound on and you could just mimic exactly what she's doing if you get lost you just hit pause and you have Catherine stop so that you can get caught up like for instance over here I have added too many apples I'm not following along exactly what she said she's going to move into create a uh, outline and then she'll follow the rest of the steps but this is a great way to take advantage of webinars to really learn it's like you have the webinar instructor right in your own home you can follow along at your own pace you can stop and start when you want and I suggest if you can't take the whole webinar in one sitting then save this file actually assign a name to it save as say Catherine changes are good or you know webinar 5 and when you have time to come back YouTube will take you right to where you were when you left off so if you close it now at 3 minutes and 49 seconds that's where they'll bring you back this is a great way to get the most out of your webinar and you'll be an expert in no time